Hello friends, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, as a software developer, it becomes very important to understand all the fundamental concepts of a programming language. So while programming, we can take better decisions that which concepts can be used to serve the purpose. Use of inline function is one such important concept. So in this short video, let's try to focus on this concept and try to understand what is inline function, when and when not to use inline function while programming with various examples. So let's start. Inline function is the suggestion to the compiler that the function should be expanded in the place where it is called rather than being called through the function call mechanism. Now since there is no function call involved, inlining a function can potentially lead to the performance improvement by reducing the overhead of the function call. For example, here we have a inline add function which takes two integer type arguments, add them and return the result of integer type. The syntax of an inline function is same as any usual function except it has inline keyword in it. As we have already discussed, by inlining the function, we are suggesting the compiler to expand the function where it is used. So as you can see in the below image, since add is an inline function, it got expanded by the compiler during the compilation step. This one is the simple use case. Now let's see with an example how inlining a function can improve the performance. To check this, I did a simple test to measure the runtime of the add function which is called multiple times with and without using the inline keyword. On an average, CPU is consuming 20-25% more time in without inline function case due to the overhead of function calls. So in conclusion, it is recommended to use inline function for small and simple functions which are repetitive in nature and used multiple times throughout the code. Though it is important to note here that inline is a suggestion to the compiler not the command. Due to the function complexity, compiler may choose to ignore the inline keyword. So, so far we have understood what is inline function, when to use them and how it can leads to the performance improvement. But on the flip side, we should also understand what are the side effects of using inline function. And this is one of my favorite question to be asked during the interviews. The biggest problem of inline function is due to its nature if the function is sizable and called in many places, this can lead to the significant increase in the size of the generated code. Another problem with inline function is, end of the day, it becomes very hard to maintain and debug an inline function. Apart from this, since it's a suggestion not a command to the compiler, relying on inline function for performance improvement can be unpredictable. So friends, that's all I have to share in this short video. Let me know in the comment section if you like the content or would like me to cover any other topics. Thanks for watching.